Hello my little club cookies. Once a month I react to a Ren song, or else a Ren friend, song. This has included artists such as Knox Hill, Black Pegasus, Victus, and today I'm going to react to an artist who, like Victus, has played with Ren. There are videos of her and Ren busking in Brighton together, and they did a live Twitch stream too. I've even heard rumors from an authoritative source that she will be releasing more than one collab track with Ren in 2024. I'm talking, of course, about the lovely Ruby J. Ruby J was born in 2005, and turns 19 this year. She has said that there are no musical influences in the family, that she is the first to display such talent. Ruby started playing guitar in 2018 at the age of 13, inspired by the likes of Tash Sultana, and Arctic Monkeys. The following year, in October 2019, Ruby entered the Teen Star Singing Competition. Shall we take a look at her performance in the regional finals? This is a song that I wrote. This is a song called Self Learn, it goes like this. Start there from Ruby J. Can you believe she had only been playing and singing for a year, and was only 14 years old at that point? What talent! But what exactly inspired her to pick up the guitar? Let's have a listen to Ruby talking about some of her musical influences. Someone has said, um, the new Macy Gray. Uh, oh, who's that? <laughs> Showing our age. Right. Oh, God, very sorry. good, very good. <laughs> oh, I'm just wondering, what are or who are your influences? Oh, well, I love bands. I'm a band girl. Okay, which <laughs> bands? I love like the Arctic Monkeys and like the 1975, anything indie. Um, but I love like Amy Winehouse. And yeah. I love um, Joy Crooks, and I love. I could go on forever. Yeah. But, um, I don't like um I don't have many female inspirations, which is why I like do music because I feel like there needs to be more yeah. of us women. Well, you've got one to look up now, haven't you? A bit of Macy Gray. Yeah. <laughs> and um Tash Altana, because she uses a guitar and those loops and I just find them very empowering. Yeah. To crack on with it. <laughs> so picking up on another one of your influence, uh, Arctic Monkeys, who yeah. you said, and they like to tell stories. What a diverse set of influences. And I think you can really hear some of them in Ruby's performances. Moving on, in December 2019 released her first single, a song called Annoy. Shall we have a listen? Is my height. He sits in the dark in the park with his friends and they watch the sun go down. Sees my possible some issue before. Oh, but even in this conversation, no, oh, it's too busy contemplate. I do a like this girl on my mind. Different talent go very, very bad. Yeah, 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 no, no, I go.
Nice. How can that be her first single? She sounds so accomplished. Like she's been doing this for years. June 2020 bought COVID lockdowns in the UK. And it was during this time that Ruby performed in a socially distanced event called the Treehouse Sessions, Lockdown Live. Let's have a listen to Ruby performing her second single, a song called Game of FIFA. This is a song that is now out on all music platforms. I wrote it and it's called Game of FIFA. It goes like this. Some girl in my age, she's always getting left out. Mom and daddy ask her why she never has a mate shrunk. Boy in the top, yeah, tried it on a weaver. Just because he lost the game to his mate of FIFA. Everything was gone wrong until there was a party. Go said you got a dress, a proper sex scene. Well, the boys are gonna be there. Have a show with what you're gonna wear. If you wanna have a good time, if you wanna have a good time, everything has gotta go right tonight. It's gotta go right tonight. Yeah. Remember everything you say tonight. Well, anyone could just put a knife and stab you. Stop you in the back You better have a pretty good defense attack I know everything you're doing with him I know the songs that you're choosing to sing You're sitting on his lap right next to my heart Thank you Thank you very much That was so cool Ruby has said that she loves writing songs that tell a story like this, because she finds it much easier, and the songs just sort of write themselves. Shortly after this, in August 2020, Ruby's career really began to take off. She appeared on TV show, The Voice, Kids, Season 4. Let's have a listen to her audition, where she covered the song Havana. She was praised by Paloma Faith, who said, Ruby J is that unique voice. That was a super quick chair turnaround. I love that song, and Ruby gave it such a unique twist. Let's jump forward in time briefly and hear her talking to a familiar certain sick boy about the experience. Oh god. <laughs> okay, let's delve into that. Um, yeah, I was on, I was on the, uh, the Voice a couple of years ago, and I was on Team Belinda Faith, which was really cool, because she's um, unreal, and she is one of my favourite artists. Um, when I was younger. So it's pretty cool to meet her and um, be on a team. She's really lovely as well in real life, so I learned that. She's actually really nice, so do meet your heroes. 
Um, some of them are nice. <laughs> um, yeah, the thing is with TV shows, they're all a bit scripted and stuff, and a lot of stuff got cut out, and you know. Um, but that's TV, that's showbiz, baby. Um, but no, it was really fun. I met some cool people, and I had a good time. Um, yeah, it was really nice, and it was lovely to meet Paloma, and I actually sung with her for a bit around the piano, which was pretty cool. One of them moments where you're just like, whoa. It was a bit like when I met you and we sang together, and my brain was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> uh, you got to keep it cool. But no, it was it was fun. It was very tiring, because it's TV, like you're filming stuff 24 hours. Um, but yeah, no, it was fun. And at the time, it was a good idea. Uh, I wouldn't do it again because I know what it's really like, but no, it, it was fun overall. I'm going to label it as a good experience. Yeah, yeah wicked. Wicked. Uh, do you have any, like, do you have any, like, take-homes from that? Would you, would, like, now you're older, looking back at it, would you would you do anything differently, or would you... Or would yeah, you um, I would have pushed to be able to sing with my guitar, because it wouldn't let me do that, which okay. was really... I and mean, it was the first time I kind of did it without my guitar, because I was right. so used to being... And you, that, you was your, that was your comfort zone. Yeah, that was, that was definitely pushing me outside my comfort zone. And to do it for the first time on national TV as well, which is even more yeah. harder. And uh, wait, how old were you then as well? Because you... To that... Yeah. 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 I was 14. And I suppose in those settings when they're saying, do this, do this, you're you're less likely to stick to your guns. Yeah, and you're, you're more likely you to do what... Yeah. Yeah. Please, people. Um, but no, well, overall, it was pretty fun. Um, I'm glad I didn't win it or anything because I know shit gets a lot more complicated with mm. um, the show if you do win it because there's stuff and stuff to be signed. Mm. But no, it was it was good for me at the time. And I did have fun. But we are getting ahead of ourselves. In May 2022, Ruby bust with Ren in Brighton for the first time, playing for about five hours. Let's have a quick listen. incredible to hear those two riffing off each other like that. Talking to each other through the sheer musicality of their instruments and voices. After this, Ruby had a very busy time through the 2022 UK festival season. She made her major UK festival debut the Isle of Wight Festival, as well as Manchester's Neighbourhood Festival and the Secret Garden Party. Will she be returning there this year do you think? Ruby has supported Becky Hill, Scouting for Girls, The K's, and Red Rum Club, as well as sharing the stage with Liverpool folk rock artist, Jamie Webster. Then in November 2022 Ruby and Ren did an epic two and a half hour Twitch stream where they played and chatted together. Let's hear a little snippet. This is me! This is a man's world. But it wouldn't mean nothing. I said I keep 
Wren often talks about the rising tide lifting all ships, but he really does practice what he preaches. Moving on. Ruby says that the proudest moment of her career so far is touring supporting the Lathams, an English indie rock band from Wigan, Greater Manchester. The five-date tour across the UK started in March 2023, and she always finished her set with a single called, Home, taken from her EP Backtrack, which quickly became an audience and fan favourite. Shall we finish up by having a listen to that song? Spectacular. Home takes its inspiration from the bouncy rhythms and soulful vocal of Motown, as well as artists such as Lulu, whose music she listened to while writing the track, and more recent artists such as Plan B and his album, The Defamation of Strickland Banks. The upbeat, jangly guitar, strident drums, and emphatic horns set the foundation for Ruby J's vocals, which as we've heard are often unexpected and yet incredibly catchy. If you are home. Wow. It's been great fun taking a deep dive into Ruby's career so far, but I get the impression that this is just the beginning. This January 2024 Ren was in the studio with both Chinchilla and Ruby J, and they recorded at least four tracks. Ren said that the two with Chinchilla sound completely different to each other, so we can surmise that there are also two in the works with Ruby J. And if you want to catch Ruby playing live for yourself, she is already starting to announce gig and festival dates for 2024. So visit her social media for more information and let her know that Disco Doc sent you. Thank you.